Hello everyone and welcome to the Lathrom channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews, and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from Lathrom here. Today we're actually going to be going over something called Set A Light 3D or in the case of this Satellite 3D Studio. Now, for those of you out here who are kind of wondering what's going on, this is pretty darn simple. This is a, a nice little piece of software that uh, I have suggested that you at least download the trial uh, because then you, yeah, it's more or less for, you know, you photographers out there or cinematographers out there that are trying to understand lighting. Maybe you're kind of new to it. You need to understand, uh, you know, reflections and bouncing and give you a you know try and get a basic understanding of what is going on with your lights now here we have the basic GUI set up uh, you have some of your information on the left hand side uh, whatever you pick in your set list is uh, where it basically opens up your uh, I guess eye properties or your settings or your properties or what have you of that particular object that you have selected right now I'm actually running this based on the Nikon D5300 so it's a 1.5 crop we have it set to 16 by 9 with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens and we're this is basically set up for one one hundred and twenty fifth of a second at ISO 100 with an f-stop of 11 all these obviously can be changed uh, to suit your desires you also have a button right here <clears throat> on uh, towards the upper right hand side of the screen uh, it says BW which is obviously for black and white uh, you have the ability to you know take your photo or render out your photo you also have a small histogram here you also have your preview of the camera an overview or a top view of the studio that you're using and again you have your set list uh, you have the ability to you know move pan orbit uh, zoom and all that jazz over here inside of your window uh, you also have these little two arrows that actually switch back and forth between studio and in camera view you have you know whether or not it's on a tripod you have the ability to rotate um, the orientation of the camera whether it's you know more panoramic or uh, more portrait I guess you would say uh, you have the ability to move around your actual camera and then you also have your focal uh, or your zoom on the camera itself with that being said let's get into a little bit of the information here you, you can see uh, kind of how it's laid out uh, you have your models which you have a variety of models that you can get a hold of and down or yeah, uh, load into your scene you have your lights which is everything from your standard reflectors up to your accent tubes beauty dishes octaforms strip lights soft boxes and all that other good jazz you also have speed lights for you photographers out there that are trying to do you know an actual speed light aside from steady burn or constant on light uh, you do have helpers such as uh, reflectors bounce boards uh, things like that and you do have props as well you know basic uh, primitive shapes I guess you would say table chair sofa pitcher all that other good jazz so let's actually get in here throw open a couple lights so we can actually see what's going on and it is basically pretty darn simple with a draw or you know drag and drop method I guess you would say uh, you have the ability to kind of modify what you're using whether it's a 250 watt 500 watt thousand watt uh, you can have your you know basically set your gels if you wish you have your uh, X Y or yeah X Y positions height uh, pitch yaw and roll and you can actually add flash heads to this if you wish to do so on the up or upper left hand side of this you also have the ability to control your power and how many steps you're going to do and all that other good jazz you have the ability to turn off your light you also have the ability to solo that light if you have multiple lights in the scene and you're trying to figure out which one's doing what and how it's doing it and all that other good jazz aside from that you also have some lights in here uh, i believe it's the octo four maybe yes um that gives you some other options as well uh such as your light formers whether or not you want an open uh, Octaform, whether you want the grid, internal uh, diffuser, an internal and external diffuser, and then the internal external diffuser with grid. 
all comes down to what you really want to try and play with, how you want things to look, and all that other good jazz. Uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit here. Basically just try and get it in right in on her. Uh, now, as you can see, I mean, we only have two lights in this uh, little scene here. We have you know, essentially two soft boxes. We have a soft box and an octoform uh, box. Let's go ahead, do a quick render, see what we have going on. And to be quite honest with you, I mean, it's not bad, but we have a lot of shadows that we have to take care of. And this is one of the reasons why I highly suggest that you should look into this program, because it gives you the ability to see what you're going to get before you even try playing with it. Now, you know, for those of you just starting out, I would see this as being extremely beneficial. Uh, some of you who have you know, a lot of experience in it may not even need it. It may help you out trying to... Uh, I guess set up future shoots or what have you. It's all up to you. Uh, we're going to change this around a little bit here. We're going to leave our 56, well, our preset, which is a 56 uh, by 183.7 at 200 millimeter uh, speed light. If I wanted to, I could solo that out and see that it's really not doing a whole lot. It's doing a little bit as far as the feel goes. Uh, you can see we have a little bit of a shadow here from that speed light. Let's see if we turn that back off. Go over to our Octaform. We can actually dial that up a little bit. Uh, put it about a 7. And we'll go ahead and do another quick render, see what that looks like. Still not too horrible, but it could use some improvement. And this is why I'm saying that you should you know, get a hold of the program, at least download the trial. That way you have a better understanding, especially uh, those of you who are out there that are getting into photography, getting into cinematography. Maybe you're going to school for it or what have you. Something like this will allow you to better visualize uh, what you're doing and how the lights are being affected. Now, if I wanted to go through here and add some reflectors in here, which is pretty darn simple, pretty easy, I mean, essentially, all these are, are uh, how would I put it? They're, they're the uh, oversized foam boards that you see at, like, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Menards. You know, technically, they're foam insulation that's supposed to be put on the outside of houses, uh, or the inside of houses, rather, uh, depending on how they're setting them up. And it allows you to, you know, for what they're used for, cut down on the amount of energy dispersed into, or heat energy dispersed into the you know, outside environment. In photography, you can use them as either light blockers or bounce boards. So just by throwing those four bounce boards in, we'll go ahead and do another rendering. And as you can see already, it's tr brightening it up quite a bit. And we're getting a little, you know, rid of some of the shadows that are there. We're getting something that's fairly, um, I guess, level across the entire thing. If you wanted to, you can actually go completely overboard with it. It all comes down to what you really want to do. Uh, but that's about all I have. The link in uh, the link of where to get this program is down in the description below. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. As always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and until next time, I will see you guys later.